All right, folks, so today we're going to talk about working with textures on products in IMVU, rooms in IMVU, textures. It's all about textures here. I'm going to explain to you step by step how to decrease the KBs in each texture without losing any of the image quality itself. So let's begin right now. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is start off on a website called imagecompressor.com. Okay, I-M-A-G-E-C-O-M-P-R-E-S-S-O-R.com, and I'll put a link in the description of this video. So let's begin. Number one, you know how you have to keep making image sizes smaller and smaller to decrease the number of KBs? All that stuff is gone. You can cancel all that stuff out, unless it really calls for it. I mean, there are some rooms that texture file, I mean, they're so big that you have to decrease them just a little bit. Um, otherwise, it'd just be all sorts of crazy. So the first thing we're going to do is work on a project that I've already worked on and I've already done uh, prior to doing this video. Let's go ahead and open this up. I'm going to go right down here to where it says Upload Files, whatever the file is. Okay, we're going to upload file here. Um... They do need to be in JPEG format. Uh, don't use anything else except for JPEG format. I mean, that's my recommendation. Otherwise, you won't get the real actual scale of what the picture file is, and you won't be able to tell if it's been decreased or not. It's just a mess. So just use JPEG, okay? JPG, actually. So what we want to do here is go ahead and let's select a few different image files. We'll select this one. We'll select this one here. We'll and I'm using these because these are some of the larger uh, files themselves. Let's see if this one's like 8.3. This one's another good one, 29. All right, so let's go ahead and just, I'm not going to go through the whole list because it'll take forever. So here we see 60, uh, negative 60, negative 42%, negative 47. That's not too bad, but it can be even better. Okay, and this takes us down to about the, KB range for this first one of about 48. Okay, no big deal. Now what we're going to do, let's scroll this so the image files are right on top of the screen up here. Just makes it easier to work with. And you can kind of see the difference here. Um, the original one over here is 120 KBs. It narrowed it down to about 48. Okay, so we can make it even better though. We're going to go ahead where it says quality right here. Double click in here to highlight the 89. And we're going to type in 40, 40. Now the original, or the, I should say the optimized version is 48 KBs. Now we're going to take this down to 40. And this is where it comes into effect that the quality of the image will not be decreased, which you'll see when we're done. We upload or uh, actually click on the pictures and you can compare them side by side. We're going to go ahead and hit enter. We're going to go from 48 KBs down to 14. Okay, a pretty big jump there. Next file. Same thing. You see the original was 33, now 19 KBs. Double click, type in 40, hit enter. We're going to go from 19 KBs to 6. Okay, that's 6. I mean, just, it's just incredible. Now, this means nothing because you haven't seen the image quality yet. Wait till we get to the image quality and you'll see that this is no joke. All right, so the original was 30, got it down to 16 KBs, double click, type in 40. Down to three now. All right, now what we're gonna do, just so you can see the comparison, is we're gonna go to download all and that's going to download, if you're using Chrome like I am, right down here in the bottom corner, wherever your downloads go. Go ahead and cascade this window real quick here. Synthadius pack in there. And we're going to go ahead and drag this image file right out onto the desktop here, okay? Now, the original... The original is located right here. 
so you can see these image files that we have. But let's go ahead, I'm gonna create a separate folder. Um, we'll just, just call this the V2 folder, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and double click here. We're gonna load these into this file folder. Whoops, <laughs> that didn't really work, did it? Okay. So we can go ahead and close this down, open this one up, and we'll just bring these down right about here, I guess. Okay. So this first image one, you can see it says this is 48 KBs, okay? 48 KBs. The original Okay, the original was 120. Pretty drastic, right? This one right here is going to give us about 19.3. This one here is 33. 33.4. I mean, that's nuts. So again, from 19.3, from 33.4, not too shabby. This one right here, uh, which one is that? Now remember, this is the edited version, the uh, optimized version here. 15.8. Uh, that came from 29.8. Okay, so there's a huge drop in the KB size. Now let's have a look at the images themselves. Okay, there's that one. Let's go over here and find it again. You see any difference? I certainly don't. Next one. I'll blow that up just a little bit. All right, so you see the image quality there. See any difference? I certainly don't. Okay. There's literally no tampering with of any kind the quality. Quality stays pretty much on point the whole the whole way down. Okay. This is the original. This is the optimized version. Okay. Pretty darn good quality. And this here went from uh, the edited version, the optimized version is 15.8, and the original 29.8. All right, so that, and for those of you who know, who actually calculate the differences between the textures, I mean, you know that's a significant drop. Now, the one thing you're going to want to do once you're done getting all of your images put together is you're going to want to go in there and you're going to want to make sure that you erase, take off this little MIN at the end, because when you import these over into your folder, Um, you're going to want to be able to just load them in there and hit apply changes without uh, affecting anything else in the, in the folder there because it won't actually read the asset. So don't forget, don't forget to do that, okay? How do we do it? Well, we go into our room. We'll go into this room here. It's, not, it's really not that difficult at all. It's really very easy. Um, a lot of people make it harder on themselves than, than what it really is. I don't know why they, um, why they do that. But you'll be able to see here. Let's go ahead and right-click. 
And we'll go down to the bottom here where my shell is actually. We'll hit edit. And we're going to go ahead and um, Okay. Now here we are. Now the way to get into that asset folder itself is right up here. I, I know this is talking stupid to most of you because most of you probably are already aware of where the assets are kept. So, but if you click on that, that'll bring up this little folder here. You'll be able to just go ahead and start wherever these are. Now, this is not the same images that we are working on just now, so don't, please don't misunderstand that. Um, but you'll be able to see and replace exactly what you need to replace in here. Now, you can choose to delete them and put them in. I will tell you sometimes that IMVU will crash during this process. Unfortunately, there's no fix, no work around it. You just got to kind of deal with it like most other things on IMVU. You just have to kind of deal with it. But let's say you go in here, you delete something out of there. Oh, my God, he says, no, oh, he deleted something. It doesn't matter, folks. Okay. Uh, little trick, if you delete something on accident, control in the letter Z. Hold down your control button, letter Z. Boom, comes right back. All right. I don't, I mean, I don't care what you delete. You can delete this entire... Uh, thing right here, okay? Oh, see, I told you, and it just crashed. Not to worry, it'll go right back to where it was, okay? Promise you that, see? I just hit Control Z again, boom, everything came right back up. But I'm just letting you know, that's why I say just do one image at a time. If you, Unless you have like a whole crap load of images, then of course all you have to do is just go into your actual folder. So what you'll do is you'll copy this. This is your actual folder here. Copy the address. Go ahead and close everything down. Okay. Restart your IMVU. But before you even worry about doing that, you can usually just go right into your folders here. Documents. All right, Thaddeus, we see you. Get into your uh, projects. Actually, you should be able just to paste that. Oh, it's not going to let you do it like that. Okay, that's fine. Um, but anyway, you know where the, where the project files are located. Um, and I'll go right back just to show you that it's not a fugazi here. Um, I'll go right back in here. And you'll see that all the uh, folders are right back where they need to be. Actually, we can just go here and go to edit. <clears throat> and everything will be put back just the way it was before. Okay. Promise you. Okay. Everything's right back to normal. So no big deal if, if you do crash. All right. This is your entire asset folder. Nothing to be concerned about, any of that. So the smart way, like I said, is to go through here and just one by one by one, click, go into the asset, um, obviously using the version 2, which is the edited version. You can call your edited version of your textures whatever you want. I just put V2 usually for version 2 so I don't get it mixed up with the originals. And just go through here and start selecting one at a time, one at a time, one at a time. All right? So I hope that helps. If you have any questions on IMVU, you're more than welcome to come over to Ladies and Gents, my club. Um, if you don't know how to find my club, for those of you out there who are not sure how to navigate um, through there. On, now, on mobile, I don't use mobile a whole lot. It's much different than PC. I recommend you use PC. Um, uh, using mobile and finding clubs sometimes can get a little bit difficult, but you're more than welcome to reach out at any point, ask any questions that you might have. We also have a Discord, which I will paste the link to in the description here for my club, ladies and gents. You're welcome to come over there and add me, and I'll be happy to help you in whatever way that I possibly can. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and we'll catch you on the next